الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم تسليما كثيرا. This is Imam Hanif with the second of five videos in this set A of navigating through hence where. In this series, we're trying to explain the theoretical aspects of using the Hansware Dictionary. We explain that the first step in using this dictionary is to understand how the author designed his dictionary. And he mentioned himself that it's based upon the Arabic root verbs, which is something that we've been mentioning in our classes, which is that in order to use this dictionary, you have to understand the concepts of the concept of Arabic verbs and to know that most of the uh, isms or most of the nouns, as we'll roughly translate the term ism, are derived from the three letter Arabic verb. And we said the verbs can be more than three letters, but right now that's what we're dealing with. So now we want to look at that relationship between the verb and the ism. So the name of this slide is getting to the root of things. So we said you begin with the three letter Arabic root verb. So here we have Sahara. Sahara uh, comes from the verb meaning to bewitch or to perform magic and so on. All right, so that's our verb that we're starting with. Now that verb is going to be our foundation or our source for developing or creating other isms or other nouns. So if we look above, we'll see that we have made an addition. And we want to look at the changes that happen to the letters. Here, Sahara has become Sahur. And Sahur is an ism. <clears throat> and you'll see that the addition that we've made is a wow. Now, of course, there have been some changes to the harakat or the diacritical marks, but we're not really focusing on that so much. We're focusing more so on the changes to the actual, uh, the actual letters. And so here we've added a wow. Now, sahur <clears throat> means or is the meal that is eaten prior to the onset of fajr for those who choose to fast. The relationship between that and sahar is that magic is normally performed in the evening and this meal is eaten in the evening because the morning for a Muslim is when Fajr comes in. The next word that we have is Sihri. Sihri. And Sihri, we can see the addition of a ya. All right, now Sihri means magical. So this is actually an adjective, which is one of the things that an ism can be, which is why noun isn't really a great translation for the word ism. But as we said, it's a rough translation. So sihri means magical. Here we have mashar. And here we can see the addition of a meme with a fatha. Uh, mashar is not a word I found in the dictionary. But for those of you who have taken the class, we've said that meme with a fatha usually indicates a place. And so if this were a word, and I'm not sure that it is, uh, we're just playing around with the language here, we would say that a meshaut is a place where someone does magic or sorcery. The next word that we have is sahar. Okay, now sahar, we see the addition of an alif after the ha. There's also a shedda on the ha, but the more prominent <coughs> change is the alif. And we said that sahar, which is on the form fa'al, usually shows a profession or a job. So sahar is someone who practices magic or sorcery professionally, or they're very, very good at it. They put a lot of time in and studied with it. And the last one we have is Sahara. And we see the addition of a tamar huta at the end. And Sahara is actually the plural of Sahir. So Sahir is a sorcerer, and Sahara are sorcerers. So we can see from this slide here the addition of several letters that change the verb into the ism. And so that's another part of this whole concept of morphology, recognizing when changes happen to the verb. 